brought to you by CFU, the power of service. Welcome back inside the UNI Wrestling Room. Coach Schwab, Eric Braley, as uh, Trevor Anderson right out of the gates, 125-pounder. Some big wins, but when you beat the number one guy, uh, national spotlight, the people start to notice that. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, I've talked about the growth that we've been having as a team, but I think individually, and that, you know, he, he shows it. Um, you can win right away. And I think that's one thing we're trying to get these guys to understand. Like you've put a lot of work in, trust your work, and you've just seen him grow. But, um, you know, a big win to be able to beat a, a number one guy at that time. Um, it was kind of a delayed reaction for him. <laughs> He's not a guy that celebrates a whole lot, but you know what? Um, I'm always I'm always okay okay with it. I enjoy the guys get that moment because you don't get a lot of those moments. But um, I don't know. He's really zeroing into to where he wants to wrestle, wrestle in those positions. And he'd had some injuries, and I think people forgot how good a wrestler that he is. And, you know, he's, he's starting to serve some notice to the country. But that was a big win for him individually and then for our team just to, hey, man, like, look at this guy. He's a freshman coming out there. He's ranking the number one guy, and he goes and beats him. And it, just, it, it, it helps everyone. So many young guys on this Panther lineup. Well, Cale Happel has that experience. Uh, give us an update of where he's at right now. Yeah, I just think, uh, you know, one of the captains of our team um, and how he trains, how he lives. He's a little bit, he's probably a little bit more outspoken, but when he speaks, he tries to make sure that it has an impact. You know, it's not, he's, he's not just talking just to talk. Um, so he's, he's, he's raised his level on that. But, um, you know, the couple matches that he lost, it's been a back and forth matches. Uh, you know, I think about the, the kid against Ohio State and him and Mendez was, I mean, it was a scrap. It really ended up being a one position match. And um, that's where he's at right now. You know, he's a one position match with everybody. Now, can we make it a two or three position match for us, and what I mean by that is you just got to create a few more opportunities for yourself. But, um, you know, he's, he's shown that he's one of the best guys in the country at that weight class. And, man, I've seen, I've seen even in some loss, I've seen some real growth out of him. Parker, it's hard to be, have that number one target on your back and uh, a lot of major decisions out of Parker and a lot of quality wins as well getting tested here. Yeah, I think, he, what I told him, I said, you've put yourself in that position. Like, why are you surprised that you're the number one guy in the country? You've done all the work to put yourself there, so it's like you can make that to be a, a, a weight and a burden, or it's like, yeah, I am the best guy. Because I'm because what I try to tell him is like, I can't imagine if I'm trying to wrestle Parker, and I'm like, oh, how the hell do I beat this guy? Because he's got a great head position. He can he can hand fight. He'll wrestle through the edge. He can wrestle with his butt to the edge. He can scramble through everything. Doesn't get tired. Yeah, I mean, he, he can wrestle for position. He can't hold him down. You know, I mean, he can ride like he can everything. So I'm like. Think about it from their perspective once in a while, because you know you can get caught up in that. Well, this guy's good here. It's like, yeah, this guy's good here. You're good everywhere, and you know he's he's getting to be more comfortable with that. But you know to think he's never going to have a close match. Because I think it's almost people are like, well, what the hell? Why didn't he get bonus points? You know, because we're so used to him getting bonus points. But guys are going to find ways to try to make it tight, and um, you know he does a pretty good job of opening that up. But it's what he does in this room every day, and he leads the way that way, and he's done it from day one. Um, but yeah, I mean he's. He's one of the best guys, like, he's pound for pound, one of the best guys in the country, hands down. We have a story now on Tyrell Gordon, who's back for his sixth year, a Waterloo native. Here's that story. 